Morgan Stanley wanted to come out and talk about GPU demand and how it's going to slow down if Ethereum moves to proof of stake, which it is kind of already happening, right? And it's not dependent on Ethereum moving proof of stake. It's dependent on the markets being down, which, and the price of electricity going up, right? That's essentially what it is. Costs going up, revenue going down. That's what's happening. So from their perspective though, if Ethereum moves the proof of stake as planned, it will remove the need for miners, slow demand for graphics processing units, and dramatically reduce energy requirements, Morgan Stanley said in a report on Monday. Ethereum developers are hoping that the merge will happen by September and potentially as early as August. But given previous delays, it would not be surprising if this were pushed out to early next year, the report said. The crypto mining or crypto mining has had a massive impact on the gaming graphics market in the past 18 months, the bank said, driving an estimated 14% of revenue in 2021, but the, at the same time, substantially contributing to a major graphics shortage which boosted overall mix and pricing. GPU demand should slow, but Nvidia is exposed to cryptocurrency mining demand that it was uh, in 2017 to 2019, the note said. In addition, demand from crypto mining, which contributed to a shortage of graphics cards, started winding down in the first half of the year, the bank noted. Both Nvidia and AMD have argued that they have minimized the downside scenarios from crypto. But Morgan Stanley is of the view that there will be a correction lower in gaming GPUs in the first quarter of next year. This will be due to a combination of factors, including lower demand due to the reduction in working from home, cryptocurrency migration to proof of stake, and tough sequential comps after a channel inventory rebuild in 2022, it added. What does this mean for us? Because this is what, what does this mean for cryptocurrency miners? Because I keep getting the question of like, should you buy, like, are we at the low for GPUs? Should you be buying GPUs right now? And clearly, like, if we look at, like, the big market makers and what they're saying, what he's saying here right now is the lows for GPU pricing, right, where you would buy at the bottom would be early next year in 2023. So when you ask me that question, I can point you to what the experts say here as far as when the GPU market will be at its lowest, and the thoughts are in 2023. That would align up to with the release of new GPUs like the 4000 series from Nvidia and the 7000 series from AMD, meaning like a compound of new GPUs coming onto the market, old GPUs getting liquidated by large mining farms that are not going to try to continue to mine. And that should provide a good opportunity for, you know, people that want to remain mining, especially GPU mining to hop in potentially not financial advice and everything could go to zero and you could have some GPUs not worth anything, of course. <clears throat> Ethereum miners will most likely sell their used GPU equipment after the merge as it is currently not profitable for all these computers to mine other currencies, the bank said, adding that, that net ether supply is expected to fall after the merge and may even turn a uh, contractionary so it's unlikely that the miners become stakers and that is very true moving to proof of stake will not solve ethereum scaling problems oh thank you thank you thank you for acknowledging that finally oh, dear lord such as the number of transactions per second or result in lower transaction fees the report added Hey, Morgan Stanley, look at you guys figuring it out over there. What does the merge not do? It doesn't improve scalability. It doesn't reduce fees. And all it does is pay out the people that are providing security to the network less money. That's all it really does. But it doesn't pass those savings on to you. No, 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 good sir. It passes those savings on to the developers and the stakers. Welcome to Ethereum 2.0. Oh, it feels good when you finally have someone acknowledge what's really happening because, you know, we've been reporting on this all year. And as you guys are aware, nobody has been reporting on it correctly from that perspective. So Morgan Stanley is a surprising one to come out and really actually state, yo, this isn't doing the good things that we want to do.
Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.